Kai Plays Games here. Kind of weird saying that title. But uh, as you've seen, I changed my name because I want to start branching out to other games besides just Fallout and Bethesda titles because I can't solely base my channel on one franchise when there's other games out there to play. So that's why I changed my name. I will start probably throwing in occasional indie games in the mix or maybe I had two days where I play indie games, but I want to try uploading more videos, so starting this week we're going to have a change in schedule. I'm hoping to upload every day, almost, for the foreseeable future, but we'll see. Except for weekends, I want to try and take weekends off, or at least take Saturday night off, but upload from Monday till Saturday. Because right now I'm doing a video on Sunday night. This video is being done on Sunday night, so yeah. But anyways, I think it's time to start branching out to other games. I got nothing wrong with Fallout, but I'm kind of losing interest in playing Fallout right now. Also due to the fact with the issue with the mods, and also I'm having occasional issues on PC with the game not wanting to run correctly, even in vanilla. And it keeps to wanting to crash now when I try and load it up, so playing Fallout's kind of being frustrating right now. Very frustrating. But until Bethesda fixes some of those issues, which they're going to have to, whether they want to or not, they're going to have to do it. We'll play a little bit of Starfield. And I remember we left off fighting off the what is it? Crimson Fleet? But I wasn't happy with my other video, that's why I deleted it, so we're restarting from when we left Vectera. And we gotta go to Crete. <laughs> but yeah, I think it's time to branch off into some other games. Perfect, this is exactly where we left off. Okay, let's turn the volume down a bit here. What the hell is that noise? What are you doing? Freaking me out there, Bosco. The scanners, the abandoned research facility is in this direction. Uh, what was your first clue at actually being in the your visuals there, buddy? Holy crap, your character runs super fast. Be careful, Captain. Alien creatures are often unpredictable. There we go. Not going to be predicting anything anytime soon. Whoa. On that Spectre, I bet ya. It's one thing I will say Starfield has over Fallout is the view distance. Although the PC view distance in Fallout was better than the console. Even with mod, even with uh, the update, the view distance still sucks. That's why I mean Bethesda just updated Fallout to break it again. I honestly, in my opinion, and it's going to be a very, very unpopular opinion, I think they shouldn't have updated Fallout. I honestly think it was just a PR stunt because of the show. To make it look like they still care about Fallout, but we know they don't. Instead of focusing on a nine-year-old game, they should have been working on a... Starfield or something else, or maybe even a newer Fallout. Fallout 4 has had its time for its updates. I think it's time to leave it. Leave it be. But again, that's an unpopular opinion. Want to hear a fun fact about this area? When I first played Starfield, I, for the life of me, cannot figure out the entrance. To where you go in there it literally and I've walked past this entrance so many times before I realized that was the entrance stupid right <laughs> who's that yeah. I let my intrusive thoughts win and I died in the process but yeah let me know what your thoughts are on the update like I got nothing against the update, I just think they shouldn't have did it. I think they could have used their... Their, um... 
resources better could have been better used elsewhere, not just in that game. Like, I know Starfield's not great in, by any means, but they should have... If you're walking backwards and you turn backwards and you're walking forwards, there we go. Be careful, Captain. Damn. But yeah, I think their resources should have been used somewhere else, not Fallout 4. That's my opinion on it. I'm not going to really change that opinion. Because all they really did was they updated it to somehow break it, especially on PC. So, that's my opinion on it. It's an unpop it's going to be a very unpopular opinion, especially for PS5 gamers, but is a confederation of smaller independent pirate crews all flying under the same banner. They are typically unscrupulous and violent. Yeah, no shit, they attacked us back on Vectera. But, that being said, let's move on and let's play some Starfield. speed run this area because everybody's probably already done this. We haven't already played Starfield. But this is kind of still like part of the beginning of the game. You still want to collect certain junk items like Toxin. And I'll explain to you more for people who haven't played Starfield or are thinking about playing Starfield now. Of certain items that are really important to have when you're building. Yeah. Victorious. Thanks for stating the obvious, buddy. Soil box. Workplace safety is everyone's job. Oh yeah, chunks. Chunks is like McDonald's of Starfield and Terra Brews like Starbucks of Starfield. Mondays, am I right? Get up straight. Tomorrow's Monday. I always record my videos a day before or a couple days before, so this one's being recorded day before. Ooh. Iron's another really useful item you'll want in outpost building. Again, I'll elaborate more on outpost building when we get to that because I haven't seen too many videos on outpost building, so maybe it's a little niche thing I can jump on. You know, it would have been a good idea to put Starfield on PlayStation. But I don't think it would fit at work on there, because you know Bethesda. <laughs> Hydraulic clamp. Sorry, cut my uh, intrusive thoughts had to win there. You know what's funny? The Crimson Fleet. What am I So 
these will be better like well this will just be a backpack I don't think that's a jump pack but you'll get like uh, jump packs in this game and your jump packs will be what uh, this is a jump pack And your uh, jump packs will be good for this is a really good pistol the solstice if you ever get the solstice there's a really good one you can get later on in the game So one thing I learned about Starfield for any new players out there, you can have inflections, especially from different planets. Like you can go to another planet because certain planets have really rough environments like for instance you can go to Venus and Venus gets uh, acid rain. So you'll want to make sure you're stocked up on stuff that can heal inflictions and you can get multiple different inflictions in Starfield com compared to even Fallout so these are drugs I'm gonna eat that but this is for I think infections antibiotics this is for burns including fire and what else is it fire and what else chemical burns such as acid rain because some planets rain acid this is another drug that's just some random synthetic meat we'll eat that too but yeah you'll have certain things that heal certain things or if you have multiple inflict inflictions there's this one rare drug I can't remember the name of it I'm gonna butcher this I think it's called Pinaka it's a really weird name But yeah, you can get like certain inflections or you can get a ton of inflections. That's more food. This is definitely something you need as a wire spool. Adds to your junk. You don't need to collect junk as is, uh, rigorously as you would follow, but there's certain items you want to pick up on like toxins, nutrients. Next we got a safe here. Got the battle pack. Now, one thing I learned with these guys is you see how the you have that one, so you want to check where you line up, and then see this one should work. There you go. And boom. You want to make sure you line up those digi picks, but Bethesda did fix the game now where you don't lose a digi pick if you make a mistake. They finally removed that med packs. Med packs are essentially like stim packs in this game. The battle packs are good. They also increase. Okay, here's another one. This one's for. Uh, puncture wounds and grazes and stuff from bullets again more guns one thing I'll definitely tell you about guns in this game that includes the Grendel and Eon you can sell a lot of guns if you don't need them it's a good way to make a lot of uh, credits early on in the game 
certain items, certain junk items, like, uh, you may find it, you may not, it's kind of just a random junk item, but it's a uh, golden triangle. It's a decoration piece, but you can make a lot of money off of them. Now, just like follow, I do not accept. Yeah, but I'll take it. I have located. I cannot be okay. But I need to be terrible. You can also do that, blow up their jump packs. But one thing I do notice. I'm done. Peace is no longer a viable option. Trying to figure out how you crouch in this game. You appear to be prioritizing your deaths over your own, sir. The nice thing is you can incapacitate a lot of enemies in this game. And just like Fallout, you'll have, uh... And for some reason she wasn't reacting. I mean she had an axe so I could kind of see why. You're gonna have pirates and Crimson Fleet and other characters come at you with axes. You'll be in a full-on gunfight gun and they'll just be like, yeah an axe, that's probably the best thing to come at the player with it. Now the Equinox pretty good weapon early on. You can eventually get a decent upgraded one later in the game, which is really good to have. Oh yeah, we got Bounty Hunter. And again, certain items you can't collect, certain junk items, and there's junk items you can't collect. Stuff like that sometimes gives you more, can give you a lot of credits. But 
you'll find usually a lot of credits on bodies in this game. There we go, more toxin. Also gonna find out what a terramorph is later in the story and the Xeno biology program and all of that. mining element. I'm detecting a safe nearby. We could make use of whatever is inside, provided you have Heat leeches hate those things. material is something you definitely need when you're Yeah, you see how I didn't lose it? Did you pick? Yeah. These are two things you definitely need for a building outpost in this game. Now we're going planet side again. Just to warn you, when you have a loading screen, you're likely going planet side, so always have your spacesuit. Yeah, we can sell it. I don't really need a legendary planet space suit. Or my own space suit. You gotta be kidding me. The Frontier has a new captain? You working with Barrett or did you pry the ship keys out of his cold dead hands? problem with Barrett. We want that ship, the Frontier. If you're the captain of it now, that means we're after you. Oh, no. 
You see, maybe your colleague Barrett didn't tell you, but there's a bit of a legend surrounding that ship. That constellation keeps treasure hidden in the cargo bays, the loot from a hundred planets, and it's going to be ours. That statement is partially correct. The frontier has been to many planets and moons, but the only things held in the cargo bays are spare parts, dust, desiccated food particles, and a variety of species of ant. I don't care what kind of lies Baron programmed that robot to say. We're taking that ship. If he were here, Barrett would say he was proud of you for asking that. The answer is no. Open fire! I'd have to deal with that spaceship first. I want to know your weight limit it's right there my mass is maxed out already but it's because we can take those items and sell them at uh, a place in uh, New Atlantis and you can also store items in your ship Larger cargo hold means larger amounts of items can be stored in your ship, but the problem is with larger cargo holds and the more stuff you store in your ship, it slows it down. And it makes it more heavier, so you're not as maneuverable or as fast as you can be. the storage hold. Oh, that's the captain's locker. The ship's cargo hold should be in here somewhere. There it is.
I'd say Terror Brew on it. I'll keep that. I'll store that. Spacesuits. And th that's not your, that DR is not how much the suit's worth. The value is right there. You don't always get the value though. Kinda sucks. save. loading screen thing would have made the game a lot more interesting Margaret Mira Dara Podius Graphis Sumati Anderfone Oh, you okay, buttons? Eh? You okay, baby? Eh? I think my cats have allergies. Oh, yeah, we gotta go straight to Jemison. And here's all our other solar systems. The soul system, which is ours. Olympus, Volley Alpha 2, Parima, Crix, Cheyenne, XL. One of my all time favorites is ETA Cassiopeia. You got Iridani, Krypton Star, Delta Point of Visit. Point of Venus. You got Overburn Prime, Overburn Promox, Proxemia. You got Bernard Star, Atar. You can also scan planets and it'll tell you about stuff. So your first thing is to type, which it's a rock type planet. Most planets are your gravity 0.91 G's. Less than Earth's gravity, you got temperature, which is temperate, so it's warm. It's got STDO2, so it's got a pretty decent atmosphere. It's got a really strong magnetic sphere, which is a really good thing. Then you got your flora and your fauna. I believe your fauna is your animals and your flora is your plant life and it's very abundant to both and it's got water. It's also got three traits. Every single planet in Starfield has three traits and you have to scan them for your three traits. And then you got your resources. You got H2O, aluminum, Chlorhistamines, chlorine, helium-3, which is used for filling ships up, 
and I think that's Argon. I can't remember the name of it. Yeah, Argon. Okay, I was right. And uh, wherever you land will likely be where your materials are. This is from another character. On the Xbox. Kind of weird that... Uh, Yeah, that guy's just kind of here sitting there in the line of fire. Now we can get out of our spacesuit because we don't need a spacesuit on this planet. Now I think that landing animation only goes once for when you enter New Atlantis, because any other time I find you come here, those planet or those platforms don't come out. What? No bear? Let me guess. Protocol Indigo again? And he's your new captain. My crew can take a look at your ship, and you can stop by the trade authority kiosk if you need them. Okay, no problem. So you can modify your ships. You can have up to 10 ships in a game, but you can build your own ship. And you got add. So first thing is you got your shields, which you can see it. Well, we have hull, shield, cargo, max crew, jump range, mobility, top speed, mass. Then these are your weapons. Last, balance. I can't remember the other one. So I guess it's laser, balance, or ballast. I don't know. But anyways, those are your weapons there, and that's the damage your weapons do. Your missiles always do the most damage. Then you got your structural, which is, you got windows you can add to your ship, you got different types of things you can add for your ship. They're more just beauty covers for your ship to make your ship more like a ship and less like a cube. Then you got your weapons. And you kinda gotta be careful because some of these weapons are good and some of them are sucky. But as you can see, as I'm going through here, the mobility is changing, the mass is changing because we're adding more mass to the ship. And also your jump range is how many light years you can jump of how far of a star system you can jump. Then you got your landing bays, which is, this is the Deimos one, this is the Nova Galactic one. Then you got your cargo, again, you add more cargo, it affects your jump range, your mobility, and your mass. And you got your different cockpits, you got the different dockers for docking to other ships in space. And you got your different engines, which again can increase mobility, but it can greatly affect your jump range and your mass. But later on in the game, when we can start really building ships, we can actually create really decent ships that have high mass. You got your helium three tanks, which add to your jump range, but it also affects it in a way, it's weird. But we're pretty early on in the game. Then you got your landing gear, because the more you add onto your ship, the more landing gear you need. Then you got your grab drives. These will be what increases your jump. Then you got your habs. So we got demos, companionway, storeroom. These are your main habs. The all-in-one berth, the armory, captain's quarters, computer core. And then you got the three, which is usually engineering bay and living quarters, but it varies from ship brand. Because in Starfield, we have three multiple ship brands. We got Nova Galactic, Deimos, Hope Tech, Stroud Eklid, and Tayo Engineering. My personal favorite is Nova Galactic and Hope Tech, with the occasional Deimos. Then we got the reactors. 
which give your ship more power, and you got your shields. Now your reactors, you do have to upgrade your reactors, but you need to upgrade your ship, which means you need to upgrade your flying and your upgrade ability, which is, will help you build your ships. That's kind of a rundown on how the ships work in this game. I can assure you this unprovoked attack on the United Colonies Research Facility will not go unanswered. Or that the whole city celebrates when it's your birthday? Mine's June 11th, by the way. My parents took me to a kill city. I kind of smell. But I don't smell anything. Um, no, yes, no. And I will certainly mark June 11th on my calendar. As for Aquila City, well, the air purifiers here in New Atlantis are a state of the art. This is Aquila City? Oh, don't even get me started on those symptoms. A little unfair, don't you think? Three Star, Star Rangers, Rangers helped me out quite, quite a bit a couple, couple years back. Got ambushed by spacers near Naria. They, they assisted, no, no questions, questions asked. asked. Even helped with some repairs so I could do, do an emergency, emergency jump home. home. Good people. In, In any, any event, event, you all must be exhausted. Just, just give, give me a moment, moment to coordinate some details, details with security. security. No, no soliciting. Do, do I need to call security? Does that woman have any idea who I am? Not now. I've never, never been, been here. Everyone, Everyone kept telling me to keep my eyes closed. It's kind of hard to do that when you're running. running. At first, I thought it was ecliptic mercenaries shooting at us, but it wasn't. It was these other, other people, people. You know, I'm not serpents and stuff. Probably. Probably. I'm, I'm pretty brave. brave. A kid, a kid tried, tried to, to bully, bully me once, once and I punched, punched him in the head. Nice. Don't, don't take shit from anyone, my mother says. And I don't. Damn anyway, I'm, I'm fine now. now. I hope my, my parents, parents don't take, take too long, long getting here. Huh. Guess, Guess you, you caught some of that, huh? huh? The galaxy is at peace and somehow seems, seems more dangerous, dangerous than, than ever. ever. Spacers, House Varun, Crimson Fleet, everyone, everyone trying, trying to grab, grab their peace. peace. What, what happened to the early days, days huh? When we, we just float through the stars and dream. Well, well, no. You, <laughs> you don't know, know how glad I am to hear you say that. that. I'm, I'm right here with you, my friend. friend. How can you, you not look, look up to the, the cosmos and just be overwhelmed by its beauty? beauty. So, so much possibility. possibility. So, so much hope. hope. Ricardo Bosch. I was, was the lead researcher on the station, station that got attacked. It was, it was business, business as usual until those House Varun crazies swarmed in. in. Spouting, spouting their, their scripture, scripture or whatever, whatever it was. Even, Even the Marines were overwhelmed. Honestly, I'm just lucky to have made it out of there in one piece. piece. We all are. Now, I just, I just want to get, get back, back to work. work. Where is, is that, that woman? woman? Really? <laughs> you, you must, must have been hiding under a moon rock, rock your whole life if you've managed to dodge, dodge those assholes. <sighs> They're basically a bunch of space scumbags. Fly around, attack, and rob anyone they see. 
They're pretty disorganized and easy to fend off until they aren't. They're a different beast than the Crimson Fleet. Generally speaking, pirates want your stuff, so they can occasionally be reasoned with. Spacers, though, they tend to shoot first and ask questions never. Not what, who. How to describe House Varun? Well, imagine a, a bunch of colonists who set off into the stars ages ago, disappeared, and then re-emerged as a sort of religious society. Faction, cult, whatever you want to call them. They believe in some sort of celestial deity called the Great Serpent. Real nightmare fuel kind of stuff. About a hundred years back, they picked a fight with pretty much everyone in the settled systems. I guess your school never covered the Serpent's Crusade, huh? We eventually made peace, sort of. Then they just disappeared. They're out there somewhere, or so folks assume. The ones that attacked us, they were the hardliners, for sure. You meet those guys, you run. You understand me? Yep, that I have. Had to dump a load of cargo just last year. Microscopes. Can you believe that? Guess you can sell anything these days. Pirates are a tricky lot. In space, they're all about the hit and run. You jump in, steal your stuff, and get out of there fast. Keep your cool, and you can generally talk your way out of it. So long as you're not too attached to your valuables. Stumble upon the planet side, though. Their trigger, trigger fingers, fingers get, get much itchier. Another, Another time, time. Should have just did like that kid punched him in the face. The whale's been having brownouts all the time. Mast finally sent someone down there, but nothing's changed. Yeah. You will be scanned as you enter the city. Please keep moving. Hope you're not you a horror phobic. Fuck you, just call me. Yo, I'm just thinking there needs to be a mod that replaces a statue with a statue of Todd Howard. <laughs> You know, when Starfield first came out, all these people would just stare at you like you're weird. Anyways, I think we'll end the video off here. Again, there's going to be some major changes coming, or minor changes coming in the future with this channel. So, stay tuned for that. But, I want to try and push out as many videos as I can. I'm also going to be creating a Facebook page and... Uh, Twitter account, or X account, formerly Twitter. And I might also be starting up a Discord pretty soon for all of us to talk to each other about stuff. And um, I also have a Twitch channel now. Same name as my channel. Same icon. The Vault Boy smiling with his thumb up. But other than that, if you like this video, remember to like and subscribe and to hit that bell notification so you know when another when another video drops. I really appreciate it and I want to try to get to 500 subscribers by July. So, again, thank you and I'll see you next time. Bye now.